Jennifer Sherlock. Welcome to PA Harness Week. We have a hot show for you as we hang out with the horses here at Harris Chester and Casino. Hope you're having a lovely holiday season. Here are the headlines. Entering the winner's circle for the final time in his phenomenal career. Rock and Roll Heaven races for the last time. We'll show you his race from Dover. You'll also meet one of the hardest working driver trainers in the biz. Todd Shadle, who gave us Hamiltonian winner Vivid Photo back in 2005. And you'll meet the caretaker of the star, Sarah Murphy. That's coming up next on Racing's fastest pace half hour, PA Harness Week. Oh, they go. Explosive matter wins the Colonial easily. Underway. Well, hello there, Kim Asabi, and welcome to PA Harness Week. This is Harness Racing's fastest pace half hour, so get ready because this little 30-minute piece of real estate is going to satisfy your Harness Racing Jones big time. Hi, I'm Steve Ross, and as usual, my sidekick, riding shotgun over here, the lovely Heather Moffat. You know, I got to tell you, I, I'm not comfortable with that sidekick thing because sidekick is like one rung down from a partner. I mean, like, Tonto was not on the same rung as the Lone Ranger, right? I see what you're saying. Richard, Karen Carpenter, I mean, he never, you know, he was like, she was the singer, he was the, the brains. Right. So let's say my partner, Heather Moffat. Okay, that's, I can live with that. Is that work yeah. better for you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good yeah. stuff. All right, got a lot of stuff to cover today. Let's not waste any time, because Heather's got the first one for you. It was race six on Monday. Okay. You'll be the beauty and I'll be the brains. Is that what we're doing here? Something like that. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, yes, we have a four year old claiming handicap, first $18,000. Pair of dice is a three to two favorite. Now, he's looking for his third straight. We've got sign of the moment, just missed last time out. And then there's DVC flying Frenchman. Ben and the 20 claimers taking a step back up to the 25s. Paradise heads them up the back stretch. Tracked by Sylvester Stallion, sign of the moment's up to take third. At the outside of DVC Flying Frenchman, Western Stars is aided by cover four from the front, and Beechwood Terror was shuffled back to last. Five sixteenths to go. Paradise still a length and a half in front. Side of the moment's a joint second with Sylvester Stallion moving through the far turn. DVC Flying Frenchman's locked in. Western Stars is leveling off. And Beechwood Terror hooks three wide from the tail of the field. Beechwood Terror three off the leaders, three quarters and 124 and two. They're into the stretch. And it's still Paradise being hounded by sign of the moment. Red blinkers of DVC Flying Frenchman back on the scene, but Paradise is digging in up to the line. Photo finish. Paradise raced great as a favorite should, but it was DVC Flying Frenchman who in that last quarter grew wings and took off. Comes home in 27 and 4, winning in 153 with Dan Dubay in the bike. Now, you know what Danny's nickname is in harness racing? Yeah, Charlie Chin. <laughs> or Flying Frenchman. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's okay. That's I okay. I was confused. This dude, it's like yes and no. They sound a lot alike. Okay, <laughs> the two flying Frenchmen end up teaming up to pay twenty-four dollars and eighty cents. So it's a great payoff. Second was Paradise, and third went to Beachwood Terror. And Dan Dubay does not pay twenty-four eighty when he drives Rock and Roll Heaven. That should be said, right? <laughs> uh, it should be said. Shh, we don't want to give away what's going to happen later in the show. Incidentally, wh where's the rest of your clothes? Oh, um, well, the shirt was 25% off, so. <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the feature race now on the same day, Monday, at Harris Chester. It was race 12, and it was a goodie. Velos with Georgie Knapp was a surprising four to five chalk. Why surprising? Because Hypnotic Blue Chip, the fastest horse in the country this year, was in the race. He went off at five to two with Tim Tietrick and Andy Rue with Andy Moo, or Andy Miller, was the public's five to one third choice. Here's James with the call. Andy Rue and Pangiorno came away the best from mid-pack. Velos is right with them, and Pangiorno will lead them into the first turn. He's a length in front of Andy Rue, and Velos is eased off into the third spot. Hypnotic Blue Chip came away in fourth, racing five lengths off the lead. Clear Vision and Presidential Order are next, and Atokia is the early back marker. They're single file over nine and a half lengths in pursuit of Pangiorno, and now Velos makes the first move. 
Velos out from third has taken over. Pangiorno yields willingly to the pocket. Andy Rue is relegated to third with one lap to go. And the quarter was 26 and two fifths, torture of seconds. Into the bridge turn, Velos will try to rate a second quarter breather, but Hypnotic Blue Chip's coming after him. Hypnotic Blue Chip up level with Velos, and they battled past a 54 and four half mile. Now Hypnotic Blue Chip takes over the lead. Velos showed little resistance as two lengths back in second. Clear vision angled first over. Pangiorno's locked in from fourth. Andy Rue is sitting second over. Four lengths off the lead with five sixteenths to go. Presidential order slid off the cones. A joint last with a Tokia. There's six behind Hypnotic Blue Chip, who hits three quarters in one twenty one and one. Twenty six and two in the third quarter. Hypnotic Blue Chip still a length and a quarter in front. Tetrix chasing after him. Velos is back on the scene. And Napolitano is asking him for everything he's got to. 150 to go. Hypnotic Blue Chip still a length and a half in front. Pangiorno off at 16 to 1 with Dan Dubay. Left hard and grabbed the front before Velos took a short lived lead before yielding to Hypnotic Blue Chip, who made the top and led all the way to the wire, winning in 149 and 3. Velos was a clear second. Pangiorno lived for third. Interesting side note about that particular day on Monday. There were 14 races here at Harris Chester, and half of them were won by Tim Tietrich, and four drivers won them all. Yannick Jingra won three, Georgie Knapp won three, and Danny Dubay won one. So four drivers won all 14 races. Okay, now for Sunday's eighth here at Harris Chester, it was a condition pace. The purse was 12,200 bucks, and with that, Heather's here. Thank you. We've got Devil's IV is the better choice in here. Let me tell you, this horse is so fast coming home. This horse can fly home. Western Guy has been racing at the Pocono and at the Meadows, um, but he took his lifetime best right here at Chester last year, so he's one to watch. And then Native Justice won his most recent effort. He's taking a step up in class. Devil's Ivy took over from third day. Jimmy Cohen now moves up into the second spot. Third day's backpedaling at the pegs. Native Justice slides out to split rivals. Four stars Alex was carried wide five and a half from the front, and he's leveling off. Nothing from Kina Bromach and Western Guy dropped to the tail of the field. Three quarters in 124 and three. At the top of the stretch, it's Devil's Ivy trying to see it through. Jimmy Cohen's giving chase on the wide side. Native Justice closing up the open stretch, but Devil's Ivy is a measured winner speak of the devil like really i was just talking about devil's ivy and then he wins oh my goodness who'd have thunk it <laughs> okay the seven-year-old races super for the down under native mark lewis in the bike in 152 and one and made devil's food cake out of his competition i'm trying to stick in some like a uh, kitschy devil's little <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right just go with me here, okay? All right, um, second was Native Justice. Third went to Jimmy Cohen. Is this uh, Devil's Ivy related to Poison Ivy? Remember that flick with Drew Barrymore? Uh, yeah, I totally do. Very sexy <laughs> flick, wasn't it? Oh, man. All right, stay with us. When we come back, we'll have more from Harris Chester, and we're going to go all the way back. I'm talking like all the way back to 2005 for the Hamiltonians. Don't go away. Three-year-old trotting colts and geldings lined up for the richest Hamiltonian ever. NF quotable guy. Why do so many winners along. travel in EB trailers? They love the ride. EB Paysetter trailers deliver your horses in peak condition, ready to race every time. Designed to provide safe and comfortable transport for standard bred racehorses, EB's Paysetter Series trailers are the preferred choice of professional standard bred trainers and breeders nationwide. All EB Paysetter models feature custom standard bred options and excellent airflow and aligned interior ceiling to keep your horses fresh and comfortable. Every EB trailer has commercial quality componentry and riveted sidewall construction engineered and designed to stand up to constant and rigorous horse and road use. And a sleek aerodynamic nose design that also delivers improved fuel savings. More winners ride with EB than any other trailer. EB, setting the pace in standard red horse transportation.